everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I am so excited I'm going to be reviewing the new Lunar Beauty holiday collection Halloween collection specifically I'm really really excited to show you guys it comes with a eyeshadow palette and it also comes with three lippies so without further ado we're gonna get into these I have a hot Cheeto crop top on I got it from Forever 21 so I already did my face makeup off camera <laughs> surprise surprise I always do and if you are ever curious everything I put on my face is listed down below so this is how it comes okay I am loving the vibes of this palette and this collection 100% like <laughs> it looks good it looks really good oh my god I love this so this is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell volume 2 if you do not know, they had a first one, Lunar Beauty did. It's like a book. It's like a book. That is so cute. I will keep this forever. This is so cute. So it even looks like a book like here. I'm just kind of doing like a quick rundown of the outsides of it. Um, also ignore my nails. They look gross. I haven't painted them. Mm -hmm. Beside the point. So oh, the detail. Oh my God. Lunar Beauty. Like seriously, the detail of this book. This is uh, like a vibe. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like, okay, so listen, all right. The other one, I'll pop a picture here for you. It was kind of like nudie meets blue green situation. And I love those colors. You know, I love a nude, but like purples and pinks are such a cute vibe like such a cute vibe and oh my, I'm so excited I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do like a red black smoky eye mm, I did I think I, I mm, yes so I'm gonna go into some black base from P Louise and put that on my lid just so the black shadow that I'm using because it's kind of like a shimmer shadow has a little bit more depth and darkness Ooh. So whenever you want to deepen or darken an eyeshadow, you want to go with black. And whenever you want to brighten or like pastel, lighten or neon, you want to go with a white base. Ah! What the freak? I can't get this to round. Hi, I'm Jimmy B. I know you don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> it's one of those days, huh? I think the problem is I've already put fucking powder on my eyes and now I'm going in with a cream <laughs> so if it's messy or uneven that's totally fine because we're gonna smoke it out to smoky eyes so it can be a little bit messy um i feel like sometimes i just say that because i fuck shit up and it just covers me so you guys don't like fun of me <laughs> try to be neat but if it's not neat it's okay i'm trying not to get this palette messy because it's literally i feel like this is a book all right let's go into this powder then all right so we're going into marie which is literally, it's black, but it has red, pink shimmies. And I'm just going to pack that right over the black that I just laid down. Oh, it's cute. It's just a little glimmer. You can't really see it as much on the camera, but in person, you can see so much the red and pinky color coming through. So we're just gonna talk about the fact that this is like just perfectly circular and this one is just like I have one side of my face that I do like snatch it. It's great. It's perfect man. And then this side of my face always 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 never fails to get jacked up. So if I get anything like this or this or this I'll fix it later. I'm not gonna worry about fixing it now just because I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of fixing because I'm working with dark colors. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go into Willow or Freya. Give them both a swatch. Those are both very pretty reds. One is like a true red and then the other one is like a pink red. What a schmuck. I think I'm gonna go Willow. I think I'm, I'm gonna tap in, tap into that really, really bright red all right so I'm gonna go in with willow which is a super super red and I'm gonna go in with a light blending brush and I'm gonna go with a light hand because this is really bright red and I'm just gonna go right at the edge of the black that I just laid down and just try to smoke it but I'm I'm gonna try as much as possible to not get too much of this black my fingers are stained to not get too much of this black to come up because then it, it will literally take over it's gonna look purple it's not gonna be the look I'm looking for so just bear with me I have my mirror placed here 
so the shadow isn't like catching you guys and you can't see what I'm doing. So literally I'm just trying my hardest to not get too much of the black. Like I want it to blend. Let's see how it's starting to do that little purple situation. We're not trying to do that right now. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I kind of love this. It's so pretty. Oh, and it gives me such Halloween-y vibes. So it doesn't come off as red when you blend the black into it, but it is like a super red, like my hand is stained, so are my fingers. So it's super red when you're not blending it into a black color. But once I start blending it into a black, it does give more of a maroon look, which I'm not, I'm not hating. But I do keep wiping my brush off just to keep it not too dark. I think I'm going to go into Freya with another very light brush. And I'm going to try to get up there, but like not too heavy handed. It just kind of, I want to blend this out just a little bit more. I will tell you if you're going to be touching this palette because it is pink and red pigments, your hands are probably going to stain. Your eyes might likely to stain as well, but that's normal for red shadows. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I promise. So I'm going to lift and just give it a light dusting. Adding that Freya really did exactly what I needed it to do. It didn't make it too red or too crazy, but it definitely made it a little more vibrant. Guys, I am loving this. Oh, I love it so much. So I took a little bit more of that Marie color and just started to blend up very lightly, like super lightly just to give it more of a darker color than just all red. It just helps it blend in a little bit more. I also just stopped filming to order the new Kylie collection and I'm so excited about that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be working on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take like a little smudger brush and I'm gonna dip into Marie. And I'm basically just going to line right on my lash line with that black. You just have to be very careful that you don't put too much on at once because you're gonna get a lot of fallout because it's a very dark shadow. Woo! And I'm bringing that all the way over here. And don't worry, we're gonna buff it out. It's not gonna stay super duper black, I promise. And now, crazy enough, I'm gonna jump into a liner and I'm gonna go on my waterline and just fill that in. So it closes up the eye and it looks nice and clean. Like that, instead of <laughs> that. Ooh, dark, ooh mysterious all right so you want to go in with a small 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 blending brush and i'm going to go back into willow which was that bright red and i'm going to literally just go through and smoke out the black on my under eye and the reason that i'm doing the red underneath as well because the black is going to look like oh recognize if you don't put that red in that under eye as well. It just gives you like a smoother transition. This is very dark, this is dark makeup. I haven't done dark makeup in a while. I'm loving it. I just did like a super nude look last week and now I'm doing like super dark and then I'm gonna be doing a super vibrant look for my next video. <gasps> Woo, we are crazy on this channel. All over the place. It gives me vampire vibes and I kind of, I'm digging it, okay? I am digging this look. Okay, I'm trying to decide what color I want on my inner corner. I think I'm gonna go in with Luna. I know that's like not my typical. Mm, yeah I think I'm gonna go in with Luna. It's like this really really pretty shimmer glitter situation and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. Hopefully it turns out if it doesn't mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do because the only two light colors really are uh that one and then the white one so i'm hoping you can get a good look out of the purpley one so that one is literally just it didn't give me really any color it just gave me glitter okay i don't like that i don't know why <laughs> i'm not a fan i have to find something else to put there so i feel like that's gonna be a wonderful topper but as for like something like what i was trying to use it for it's not it. It kind of just like, eh. It didn't really turn purple. It was more just like glitter. So I don't, that was not, not my fondest moment of that palette. All right, so let's go into these lipsticks before I hop off and put my lashes on. So we have Bitchcraft. 
I love that name. Come on. Oh, these are so cute. And also his liquid lipsticks is literally my favorite. Favorite. This is a gloss, but I do love his glosses too. However, not as much as all of those liquid His liquid lipsticks are so comfortable and so divine. It's not even funny. My hair is so frizzy and flat today. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Yeah, that's gonna be gorgeous. It's like this, here, let me swatch it on something that's not covered in red. So it's like this maroony pink gloss with reflex in it. Gorgeous. And it is his traditional scent and it is his traditional container. So this one is called Hollow's Eve, same uh, unicarton. And this is a liquid lipstick, which I don't think this is gonna be the color I go for now because it's orange, but it is like a oh, autumn pumpkin-y bricky red. Oh, I can't wait to wear you. I cannot wait. I don't think it's the vibe for this look, um, but it's definitely a vibe. And then Coven. Please let it be one that's gonna go with my bright red. Oh, it's a gloss. We got two glosses. Okay, so this one just seems like a peachy pinky with gold reflex. Honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, and I hate to say this because I love this stuff, that one reminds me of, uh, what is it, Zaya? Zaya? I don't know, I'll put it up here once I check it out what it's called but it is, it is a lip gloss that's like very similar to that color. I think I'm gonna find a lip liner and then go in with this gloss because I only got an orange lipstick. Mm, so the red in this is making my eyes look kind of reddy brown, weird, right? All right, so I'm gonna go into a lip liner, which is Bitch It. Piquette? I don't know. It's a color pop lip liner. And the reason I'm doing that is because his lip glosses are really nice, uh, but this is not going to be pigmented enough. And I feel like I'm doing like a whole full glam. And I feel like if I just put a lip gloss on, it's not going to look how I want it to look. So I'm going to do a lip liner, basically, is all I'm saying. It's actually a really pretty lip liner, but now I think it's too red. So hopefully this will turn it down. Oh. Uh... Okay, this is like, oh, it looks almost metallic. <gasps> this is a perfect lip combo. Oh, I love this. First of all, his glosses, to die. And so beautiful. This is stunning. Okay, ruby glass slipper, calm down. So before I go off camera to put my lashes on, I do want to swatch a couple more of these for you guys. I do like to swatch a few. Just to kind of give you like an idea of the other ones. I don't swatch the whole palette usually, but I do like to swatch a few of them. So I'm going to go into Mildred and Myrtle oh, and Misty. So this one is Myrtle. Oh, that's pretty. This one is Misty. Oh, oh my God. I lied. This is Misty. So we have Myrtle, Misty, Mildred. I did those all kinds of backwards. Those are beautiful. Oh my god. I do love his shimmers. They're always so pretty. All right, so I'm going in with Cameron Gillian. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And what's another one? Alex. So these are three mattes I'm now going in with. We have Cameron. Ooh. She's like a peachy orange salmon situation, if you will. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best at explaining colors, but you, you get it. It's pretty. This one is the Gillian, which I'm not real sure I'm pronouncing right either. Which is like a hot pink purple. And then this one is that super paley, like baby pink Alex, which I'm loving the vibes of that. I actually love the whole vibe situation going on. Like this one and this one could and be like a perfect pair. Let's go in with Louise. She's giving me some vibes. And Grams. So we went in with Zelda and it just wasn't my thing. And then we'll go in with Macy. And there's like one coolish tone color and it's Mel. It kind of looks like a gray brown. So this one was Louise. Oh, I love Louise. And this one, crazy swatch, is Grams, which is really fucking pretty. And ooh, I love a dark purple. It's a little patchy, but it's a purple, so it happens. So this one is Macy. Now, no, we're gonna be stained. 
you don't say. I don't have any makeup removing wipes. I am out. So this might be a serious problem. It's okay. All right, we're gonna do a few more. Actually, there's another cool tone purple in here and that's called Maggie. So we're gonna do Maggie, Mel, and Queenie. So, okay, this is Mel. This is Maggie. This is Queenie. We're gonna do it over here. These are ugly. That's fine. Ooh, that's actually more warm tone than it looks in the palette because it looks cool tone in the palette. So that one is Mel. This one is Maggie. This one is Queenie and I cannot wait to get into that color like at all. We're gonna do Agatha but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because just like Luna I think they're just toppers so that's Agatha and Luna. Yeah, so it's a topper and they're really, really pretty when you put them on top of shadows. That one's Luna, but it gave me such a silver vibe. Maybe it's because I put it over the black one, but it just didn't give me the vibe I wanted. However, for toppers, those are beautiful. And then I think I've actually swatched the whole palette at this point. <laughs> Sally and Hilda are the only two I have left to swatch because the other ones I used on my eyes. So this one's Sally. Oh, that's a little bit more warm tone too. It's like a pumpkin-y color. These colors are very, like, surprising. Like, you think they're gonna look a certain way, and then they don't look at all what you think they're gonna look like. Like, those are very bright and very beautiful. And I'm very stained. <laughs> I'm fucking screwed. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Now that I've done those swatches, I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna put my lashes on, and then we'll be right back to kind of discuss my final thoughts and how I feel about it. We'll see. Comment down below what your final thoughts are before I get to mine and we'll see if they're the same. All right guys, so that is it for my look. I think that it turned out really well, really kind of Halloween-y and that was kind of my vibe. I feel like you could definitely, this could definitely be like a more brightsy, neon-y, pr real pretty palette, but you could also make this like a very sultry, vampire-esque, situation real fast and I love that about it um I do love the glosses I've always loved his glosses I absolutely adore his lip liquid lipsticks so those are a no-brainer for me like these are definitely a must doesn't matter you need them because his formula is always so amazing I really really love this one under this ready vampy color I'm wondering what it's gonna look like under maybe like a more purple one or more nude one and just kind of like play with it I think that it'll look gorgeous by itself but I usually prefer when I do a full face if I'm gonna do a lipstick or a lip lacquer or something that has more pigment so I always put a lip liner underneath the this one right here uh coven it's pretty and I know I just said oh you need it I take it back. This one reminds me of, what is it, Zaya, I think, and I really hate saying that. It's just very, very similar to that lip gloss that I just don't think it's necessary to get it. But his lip glosses are out of this world. And then my favorite <laughs> is his liquid lipsticks. They're so comfortable. They're not drying. They're absolutely amazing. I feel like they're really affordable and... <sighs> It's like a very pumpkin-y, it looks red in the tube, but do not fear, it is not red. It's like that burnt orange, like very autumn fall color. It's just so good. It's so good. Like, look, it's still there, but it's like not drying. Like, it's not like a matte matte. It's like a semi-matte or a comfort matte, if you will. It's really, really nice. We just need to give Manny and his team like 110%, like a pat on their back for these like just this is so innovative to me and so creative and I can't wait till I have a bigger house with a bigger makeup room so I can display stuff like this. This is so cool to me. Like absolutely stunning. 110% probably the best collection I have received so far from him when it comes to packaging. I did love Lunar Eclipse. I did. But this one takes it like oh, so much detail. Now as for this palette, it's a beautiful palette. Beautiful, beautiful formula. They always are. The only one that I had issues with was Luna, but I think it was a topper. I don't think it's meant to be what I wanted it to be. You can't make something be something it's not. So that might have been me, like an oops on me. But I just think that the colors are beautiful. You can really go for something more tamed down, more feminine, more just like, ooh, you know, pretty girl. And then you can just like sultry this sucker up and make it like I'm the bitch in charge, okay? I think that this palette is definitely a beautiful palette to have. I think it's really super cute to add to your collection. So if you don't have it, 
I don't know what you're doing. You need to get it. I do recommend this one. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know my hair is a mess. I know I'm stained, but I hope you really did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me before you leave. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You don't want to miss any of my videos. And as always, comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of this collection is. Do you have it? Are you getting it? What are your thoughts? What are your plans? And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.